In this video, I will show you how I draft the princess seam to the armhole front bodice pattern with lowered neckline and cutout armhole and the application of contouring. If you have been following my channel, you must have seen the video upload prior to this one where I explained when and how to use pattern contouring. And today, I want to show you how this is applied to eliminate all the gaping on our simple bodice design. If you are new to Bobbin and Drew channel, the link to that video is in the description box below. Trace the bodice block and draw the waist dart to the bust point, making sure to transfer the armhole notch and the mid shoulder point. Mark 3 inches from the bust point and draw a bust circle using a compass. Decide on the width of the shoulder strap and here I've used 1 and 3 fourths of an inch. And next is to decide on the neckline placement. Then use a French curve to draw the neckline and the armhole. At this stage, it is tempting to just, you know, cut away the pattern. But if you do, all the gaping will still be visible on your garment. So what we need to apply at this stage is the one that I've been telling you earlier, the pattern contouring. And if it is your first time to do this, please stick to the standard measurements. And once you have sewn the mock-up and you still see a little gaping, please feel free to increase the contour measurements. Again, I have a separate video tutorial for the contouring and the link is in the description box below. I also commit to upload videos every Sunday. And if you find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, Babin and Drew. Here I have marked contour guide number one. 2, 3, contour guide number 4 for a semi-fit design with a total measurement of 3 eighths of an inch, the side ease, and the shoulder slope. Next is to cut the straight leg of contour guide number 1 from the neckline to but not through the boss point. Close and tape contour guide number 1. Use the French curve to redraw the neckline. Next is we do the same process on contour guides number 2 and 3 wherein we just cut along the straight lines of the contour guides and we tape it closed. And use a French curve to redraw the final armhole. The one I'm showing here is optional on contour guide number 4. You can try this one or you can just skip it, but compare your mock-ups and see what a little shaping on a pattern can actually do on the fit of the garment. Next is we draw the princess seam just above the armhole notch. About like say 1 fourth of an inch to 3 eighths of an inch. And please don't forget to add the notch marks because this will help us when we stitch this garment. And lastly, we just cut the pattern pieces and don't forget to add the green line. And this is basically how you eliminate any gaping on your pattern draft. And now our front pattern pieces are ready.